Okay, what did we have before? We had a moon station. I guess we're gonna go with the hitchhiker storage container. Oh, no, we could use this crew cabin. That's what we should do. Okay. Yeah, let's unlock the crew cabin. Oh, okay, this, this could be interesting. Let's unlock this. This will be a very not station station, actually. This will be more like a ship that will eventually dock to the station, but we'll pretend it's a station for now. This is five kerbals. Uh... Oh, we could have gotten the probe core. Alright, well, I've got a solution for that. We'll have a probe core anyway, but we gotta tuck it in in a different place. That looks a little bit stubby. Oh, that looks sleek anyway. Okay, so we will toss a... Oh, I know, I know, I know. Um, we will have one of the service bays. Right. Now I have to be careful of the service bay because we can't really have anything sort of uh, clipping into it. We'll put the probe core in. As well as some batteries. You had some bad experiences with service bays. If you do Kerbal Rescues, don't use the external seat thing inside the service. Yeah, that would be a bad thing. Um, I'm thinking about how to... See, what, what I want to do is I want to put a docking port on the back, but you know how the docking ports are. This, it, I'm worried about the fact that it goes in a little bit might mess with the service bay. What do you guys think? On a cargo bay. Oh, yeah, 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 cargo bays. Okay, yeah, 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 okay, I got it. Uh, do we have cargo bays? Yes, we do. We don't have to carry as much RCS. And maybe we should put some science in as well, just for the... Well, we, we've already done a lot of the jewel science, though. Now, um, so yeah, that'll be just a side one, but we'll have these on the outside. Docking port. Do we have the shielded one yet? Oh, we could do this dock. Well, okay, I guess we will. You know, if we do this this docking port, that's probably more expensive than we need it, is it? Yeah. Hmm. It doesn't... Well, I guess it makes sense. Let's go with it. No, no, it's not better to build in the SPH. It is not a space plane. This is a space cruiser. This is a space cruiser. You know what I'd like is I'd like a uh, ore detector. I'd like one of the scanners. Where the heck are those? Hold on. Let me say uh, jewel. Hold on. Station. Proto. Okay. Uh... Put the antenna in the cargo bay? Okay, that makes sense. But seriously, where is the ISRU stuff? I just want the detector. The telescope icon? Okay. Ah. Darn, I should have looked for that immediately. We could have gotten it with the stuff that we had, I think. Oh well. That would have been a really good use for this. So, the amount of Delta V that we have is 1,765. That's, that's good enough for some bouncing around uh, Jules Moons after we get it there. We don't need to keep it in orbit around Jules. Perhaps we should carry some science, just for the heck of it. Thermometer, barometer at least. Okay, so this is going to be a jewel station that eventually gets attached to a larger station as a crew transport vessel to various locations. Okay, not meant to return to Kerbin, 
Nothing like that. Now, do we put it in the fairing? It seems like it could mess with our aerodynamics pretty badly. But it also seems very large. This is too small. That. Come on. I'm checking that out right now, Slim. <laughs> it's, uh. It's more than five tons. Forget that. Okay, so we are not using a fairing like that. That makes things a little bit complicated, but we'll, we'll figure it out. Shall we go with this and go back to less, less powerful stuff? I think so. Uh oh, I also removed the monopropellant tanks, which are gonna be interesting for all the rendezvous and docking that we're gonna do, so gonna get them back in. Weird music? Well, it's for more dramatic things than what we've got going right now. Instead of fuel line, just attach fuel tank to the bottom of bay and then put a probe on top of the... what? Instead of a uh, fuel line just attack the bottom of the bay, then put the probe on top of the tank. I think this looks good, doesn't it? 1,940? Still feels a bit short. It's a transfer stage, so I mean we don't need to have a thrust weight ratio of 1. And let's uh, make the tanks as cheap as possible. Let's go with just the one big one. How much Delta V would it ha give me if I had, f let's say, eight of these SRBs? We're, we're at uh, 2,500 now. I want 3,800 at least. Let's unlock these. They're safer for SRBs, I think. And we need to go back to rocket-style symmetry. Delta IV heavy style sounds good, but people kept saying SRBs. Nigel says SRVs make him happy. So let me just calculate the delta V on this. 1,123. I... That's not enough. We've got 2,500 in the center and 1,123. Calculate instead of calculate. Well, you know what I mean, right? I... I make my spelling mistakes verbally. <laughs> anyway, I don't think I have enough Delta V like this. So somebody said Delta IV Heavy style. Well, this is an approximation. But I think that's not going to work. That's too much fuel for that. Let's, let's go real Delta IV Heavy style. Delta IV Heavy style with fuel flow. Well, that's Delta IV Heavy style. Holy mackerel, looks bad like this. Oh no. Overkill for the cargo, I agree. I guess I can see that, but... Okay, okay, I, I see what you mean. Alright. Yeah, I think we can do that. Okay, and now I guess we can do SRBs. Man, this is tall though, Mitko. Um, no, this is gonna flop over. This is gonna flop over badly. Okay, uh... Chevrolet space planes. They fly like a rock. Well, I remember those ads. They're still overpowered, but at least we're not running three mainsails. 
what's the weight of that top stage? Uh, this portion, 12 tons. It's not, our situation is not great here. But uh, we've got this dual transfer stage. Let's see, what, what proportion are we delivering to Kerbin Orbit? So that's 32 tons to Kerbin Orbit. That's not a bad ratio. 32.3 divided by... Yeah, we, we're delivering 13.6% to Kerbin Orbit by this. We Should we light them all at the ground? Probably don't need to. We can light the we can light the skipper a little bit higher up, but we better actually. Uh, I'll. I'll hmm. Do you guys think it'll hold together? Yeah, I think we need more struts. I don't think it'll hold together if I do that. And let me straighten out the struts on the other side too. Okay, fins. I'm not gonna argue. At least it's not as tall as it uh, could have been. But yep. Yeah. Let's have much fins. And finally, control surfaces. Yes, we are doing wings. There we go. Real god awful wings. <laughs> Okay, uh, Sepatrons. What's my favorite game other than KSP? That's a tough one. Um, let's see. I've got a lot of... I mean, if we go by the a sort of legacy thing, I guess Microsoft Flight Simulator. Probably, in terms of being a series of games, the one I've played the most overall. Even now, I don't think I've played KSP more than I've played all of the versions of Microsoft Flight Simulator combined. Civ! Civ! Yeah, Civ, I didn't play as much as uh, Flight Sim, but uh, if you summed all of the time I played all of the variants of Civ, and I think I've played all of them, um, it wouldn't be as much as KSP. It wouldn't be as much as KSP, but it'd be, it'd be pretty high up there. Okay, let's take out the. Okay, I need I need rocket launching music. This 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 thing does not sound right for this. Elder Scrolls. I've I've played uh, I played Morrowind for a little bit. Mostly spent time in Oblivion. Played Skyrim a little bit. Oh no 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 no! Hold on hold on hold on! <laughs> no 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 no! I'm not sending Bill and Bob out there. 16 dudes in a room playing Quake 3 together. My experience with that at school uh, was uh, StarCraft, the original StarCraft. Yeah, uh, we used to play StarCraft at school in the computer science lab, as they called it. Okay. What do you think, guys? Are we good to go? Are we go for launch? Have I forgotten anything important? Okay, so I guess we're ready. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, we are. We're gonna do a roll maneuver. And we are go for roll program. Uh, let's not. Well, I guess we should go upside down just for tradition's sake. Control is okay. We are going for pitch. Oh crud. Uh, okay. Uh, control is not okay. Control is... Oh crud. Uh, control is a bit iffy. I went upside down to... Oh boy. Okay. Cutting throttle. Cutting throttle. Oh, oh, crud, crud. Uh, oh, no, 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 no! No, this is not what you're supposed to do. Back up, back up. Oh, blugger. <laughs> this looks totally wrong. It looks like a plane now. This is not right. This is not right. 
Oh, jeez. It can't, it's not turning up right. Okay, I'm gonna have to, okay, hold on, hold on. I got it, I got it, I got it. No, I don't. Come on, come on. Come on, you silly thing. I'm not reading chat right now, gotta save this thing. We're gonna get it to orbit and we'll have to refuel it in orbit or something like that. Stupid fins didn't work at all. They just made it worse, I think. Oh, come on. No, 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 no. You are not doing this today. Come on. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, jeez. Me find controls. Oh, shoot. This is not gonna work. Uh, this doesn't have the delta V. Ah, uh, not the delta V. Thrust to weight ratio. Would RCS help? I I think it would like snap the top because the RCS isn't balanced. I mean, maybe it would have helped. The... Um, what you got? The... Verniers would have helped. Verners would have helped more. Shouldn't only the center engine gimbal. I don't think that would have been enough gimbling to control the thing. You don't think it's going to orbit? Well, you don't know me very well, Elm. <laughs> Reassuring to see even your idols struggle with the things that you do. I know that feeling. Too much gimbal. Well, I don't have any theories that are particularly interesting, so... Okay, well, our tunnel apoapsis is going down. Okay, I'm gonna tilt more. How many monitors do I have? Two. One for playing, one for reading your comments. Reaction wheels! Yeah, good point. Uh, okay, I think that's the end of that stage. Well, let's make it look proper at least. So yeah, maybe reaction wheels on the other pods, but obviously we're not going to be relaunching this. On the right side, uh, it's got a lot of RCS, so all we have to do is throw up a tank full of fuel, and it can just rendezvous with it, right? Right? Uh, I guess for safety's sake, I should open the cargo bay and extend that one panel. Okay. And, uh, three monitors for the win. Well, I don't have that kind of budget. My monitors aren't that great either, Grisbiz. Uh, looks like a rocket run, uh, running into a plane, oh, uh, turning into a plane interrupted halfway into the process. Yeah, yeah, I think that was, that was sort of the thing. Uh, an aborted, whatchamacallit, uh, transformation, there's a better word for transformation. Metamorphosis. Yes, aborted metamorphosis. Okay, well, we need to refuel this. We need, call it uh, at least 400, let's, let's call it 400 fuel, just to round it off. Okay, so let's just leave it be and head back to the VAB. I like something to separate. I don't like how the. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. I, I just don't like that sort of thing going. But 
guess it's not bad. We should have some RCS on here, though. That's a lot of RCS. Oh, I, I guess we can hang it on the bottom. Hmm. Let me check staging here. Oh, we've got this sort of thing going. Well, I guess that's not bad. No 2.5 meter service bay? No. No, we don't have a 2.5 meter service bay. Yeah, otherwise that would be a 2.5 meter service bay, right. Okay, so this is... Uh, okay, reaction wheel above the engine and parachutes to recover it. Ah, okay, you're going like that, alright. Uh, two are enough, you think about the parachutes? Let's just double check. Oh, no, no, don't do that. Oh, yeah, this is only a partially filled tank. Huh. We need to fully fill it. This, uh, we don't need to fully fill it. We don't need to fully fill it. Actually, this is way too much fuel. Alright, guys. Uh, you know what? I think I'm going to have to call it a... Call it a session here. We're going to have to do this rescue next time. Because I've run three, almost three and a half hours now. And I'm a little bit too tired to do any more here right now. So, uh, next time we're going to rescue that little uh, jewel station, quote unquote, with this. And I am going to, we're going to retrieve this mainsail SSTO. I try to get back to the KSC as close as possible. And uh, send our jewel station off the jewel. Alright, so does that sound like plan? I hope so. But uh, with that, I'm going to say thank you for watching. And uh, we'll be I'll be streaming tomorrow at about the same time. So we'll just continue this uh, tomorrow at uh, 1 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time, 8 p.m. GMT. And uh, we'll proceed from there. Alright? Alright then. So, uh, yep. Have a good evening. And take care.